Good morning everyone and welcome back to a really, really exciting vlog. So today, as you're watching this, is the 2nd of March, which means it's officially spring in my eyes. I know that a lot of people might say that spring doesn't start till the end of March, but for me, 1st of March is the first of spring. Like these are the first signs of like, the, the days are getting a bit longer and the weather's getting a bit warmer and things are starting to look up a little bit and so yeah today for me is the first spring vlog which makes me so so excited I can't even tell you guys I I'm just so excited for spring this year I feel like I'm definitely the kind of person that loves seasons like I really love seeing the changes in seasons and like in autumn winter like I love the coziness of autumn I love the excitement of Christmas at winter everything like that but I feel like especially this year spring is just such a welcome season to come I think this has been my worst year for my SAD which is seasonal effect seasonal effectiveness disorder I think a lot of people have it and don't quite realize because it's quite a common thing I think a lot of people you know get quite affected by the weather they get affected by the hours in the day you know when there's not a lot of daylight and there's not a lot of brightness you've got to have the lights on during the day it really affects your mood like even if you're not someone that officially suffers with SAD like it really does just affect your mood um and so I just can't wait for these like warmer months for the longer days for more sunshine and just for the kind of like hope of better days if that makes sense so yeah as you can tell I'm really really excited about spring I'm just currently sitting having my morning coffee and just thinking about just the prospect of the warmer weather and everything like that it really is just making me so so excited and just being able to like sit out on the balcony and have a cup of coffee and soak in a bit of sun and I feel like it's almost like things come alive a little bit more when the it's like summer and nicer weather like I almost feel like we're asleep for winter and then once winter's over it's like we wake up and like we can go out and like enjoy ourselves more and everyone's happier and you know things are just a little bit less stressful and life's a bit easier if that makes sense I just can't wait I feel like it's been hard having a slow life in winter and I feel like it's easier having a slow life in summer because you can just sit out read a book you know soak up the sun watch the sunset whereas in winter it's just like oh it's dark let's watch a film oh it's dark let's watch a film oh it's really rainy today should we start a new series um but yeah i know it's just making me so so excited but just having my morning coffee i've got a few things that i need to do today a few like emails and calls that i need to make um and then i'll pick back up with you because i have some new and things that i want to show you that i am really really excited about so as i said i have some exciting things to show you today <laughs> we've got some new in pieces and this is officially going to be my first spring haul of the year. And I'm so, so excited. We've got quite a few new in pieces from a few different brands. We've got River Island, we've got some Caramillon, Coast, ASOS. So I wanted to kind of like put it all in one video, just do it as a bit of like a vloggy style because I'm quite enjoying my like vlog style hauls and just make it a bit more casual, show you how I'm styling them up, like showing them on. Um, and yeah, I'm so excited about this. I know I've done like a couple of transitional hauls up until this point, which I will link if you want in the little eye icon, but this is gonna be the first proper spring haul. I feel like I don't let myself talk about the spring that much before March, but obviously now that we're in March, I can officially call it a spring haul and I can officially look at, you know, dresses that I'm gonna wear without tights, like open toe shoes, things to wear for when the weather starts to get a bit warmer and just to make me so, so excited about the spring month. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. I'm going to unbox all of these items, get them out on my rail and we can go through them together. So we've got them out on the rail here and they're making me so, so excited for spring. I just can't wait for the weather to warm up. I'm wearing my fave H&M dress today, which this is a really great transitional dress. Loads of you have been shopping this, and I don't blame you, it is so, so gorgeous. I'll also link this dress down below in the description box if you did want to shop it, but let's go through the items. I think I'm gonna start off with the River Island items because we have quite a few pieces from there. I went a little bit crazy on River Island, but I feel like in spring summer they really really come into their own i absolutely love their spring summer pieces actually to be honest i feel like river island every season just does a really really great job 
But I feel like a lot of their pieces are things that are like really crucial items to add into your wardrobe that you're gonna wear again and again and again. So, as I said, went a little bit crazy on River Island. And the first thing that I picked up, I am obsessed with, is this stunning green dress. Now, this is not a colour I usually go for, you guys will know. And you can literally tell from like the rest of the rail. Very monochromatic, very neutral, but we have a green number here, but I just fell in love with this. I feel like this is such a gorgeous color to add into your wardrobe. I think green for me is a color that I'm actually quite comfortable wearing, like whether that's sage, khaki, or this really gorgeous like emeraldy color. For me, it's a color that I'm not gonna shy away from, and I think it's actually a really great color to add into a neutral wardrobe, just to add that little pop of something. And I absolutely love this. I love River Island for their dresses. I feel like they do dresses so, so well. I can't even tell you. I've got some dresses from last spring, summer that I still wear now, and are still in my wardrobe, and are gonna get so much wear this year. They're really, really comfortable. They're really well fitted, and they're really, really high quality. Obviously, it's River Island, so it's good quality. Now, I got this in a 10. It's not petite, but I do find with river island dresses that they don't come up too long so if you are a bit shorter they're not like frumpy or they're not like knee length they are still mini dresses and also the fact that it's got this ruched waist means that you can pull it up further if you want to so it sits a bit higher so it's a little bit shorter on you my main concern is going to be oh i was going to say my main concern is going to be this v but it's got a little button popper so that it's actually like closed because i'm not a big cleavage kind of a girl and that is something i have like struggled with in the past i have a lot of safety pins that i keep in my drawers so that if ever i need to like safety pin so i'm so happy that this has a little popper because that is going to save my modesty but i just love the ruffle detail i love the sheer sleeves i absolutely adore this so enough of me rambling let's try it on and i'll show you what it looks like oh my word i am so in love with this dress this is just absolutely gorgeous the fit is stunning it really comes in at my waist which is really really nice like it sits so so nicely and lengthwise i think it's absolutely fine like obviously it's a little bit longer than i think i would want but i think it's quite nice like it's quite modest you can wear this with like maybe some cute boots when it's a bit more you know wintry and then change that up for sandals i think that would look really really nice I love this and I love the um, the popper here, the fact that it has that makes it really, really wearable. It means that I'm not worried about like coming out. It sits so nicely, like just above my bra. So I don't have to worry about that at all, but I just love this dress so much. The little sleeves are so cute. The fact that you can see through them, the waist makes me look tiny, which I absolutely love. Yeah, this dress is an absolute win. This is something you're gonna see a lot of this spring. Now next from River Island is an item that it's a bit different for me, but if you watched my Zara haul, you would have seen that I picked up this really gorgeous cardigan dress, and I did absolutely love it, but I just felt like it wasn't the best fitting, and I really, really liked the look of it. I loved the colour and everything like that, but I decided to end up returning it just because I found that like it didn't like flatter me as much. I had to wear a belt, and I didn't really want to wear a belt, and so when I saw this in River, I was like, this is kind of like answering all the, the questions that I had about that Zara one. It's got a much more like fitted bodice to it, which I really, really like. I love the gold buttons running down it. I feel like that is just such a signature River Island look. Now, the only difference with this one is it doesn't open, so you can't actually wear this as like an over cardigan. It has to be worn as a cardigan dress. But I think it will look quite cute. Now I decided to get this in a 12 just because I wanted to size up a little bit because I didn't want it to be too tight. I still wanted it to be comfortable and a bit loose fitting and just kind of like sit quite nicely on me. So let's give this one a try. I feel like this is going to be a really, really cute number, but we'll try it on. This dress is exactly what I wanted from a cardigan dress. I feel like I am ready for a meeting with the board right now. I'm ready to tell them what's what where to go and how to spend our budget i feel so like powerful and this is such a gorgeous really comfortable work dress this is definitely something i would recommend when offices start to open again to wear to like the office if you want to be comfortable but still look really really smart like this looks so so smart but it's still really like stretchy and comfortable i like how it comes in at the waist it comes in a lot more than the zara one which is what i didn't like about the zara one the zara one was very like straight up and straight down whereas this still has like quite a nice figure which i really really like without it being too tight there's nothing worse than like being really really tight in your tummy and you're not feeling comfortable this is still fairly loose fitting but still really really comfy i absolutely love how this looks i yeah i'm gonna keep this in my wardrobe for a really long time this is the perfect 
I mean business kind of a dress. Okay, and the next thing to show you from River Island is another gorgeous skater style dress. You will be able to tell that these are just such like me dresses. I find them really, really flattering, really easy to wear, and they are just the kind of thing that I reach for time and time again in spring and summer, and this is just an absolutely gorgeous number. So this is like a really stunning, like embroidered, a bit more like structured dress, but I really, really like it. It's got the stunning, like the waist comes in, it's very skater style, it's got really gorgeous like tear detail, I am just so, so in love with this. I love the fact that it's this like black colour because it means it is quite transitional, you can wear it with tights and boots when it's still a little bit chillier, but especially as the weather is starting to get warmer, you can change out the tights and boots and wear bare legs and just add like a little crossbody and I think it would look so, so cute. I really, really like this. I picked this up again in a 10 and I think this is the right size. I don't think I would have wanted to go for a 12 because you do want this to be a bit more tight fitting and a bit more fitting but yeah I love this so so much I think this is such a gorgeous dress and it's gonna be the kind of thing that I reach for again and again this spring <laughs> okay so the first thing I'm gonna say about this dress is that this is a bit of a nightmare to get on because there's no zips or and it's not stretchy so you have to undo every single one of these buttons to get it on however once it's on it looks stunning I love this so so much this is absolutely gorgeous i love the frill detail at the bottom the tiered kind of like skirt is so so cute i love the puff sleeves with the really like cinched in um what's this called cuff <laughs> forgot my words really cinching cuff i find that very very flattering and quite elongating on your arms on a shorter girl i find that quite a flattering style and also the fact that the cuffs are quite obviously like narrow it means that the sleeves it doesn't matter if they're too long on your arm because they can just puff up and be a bit bigger the only thing I will say is I kind of wish the tiered detail to the skirt started a little bit higher I feel like where it starts is a little bit lower on me I don't know if that's just me what do you guys think about it do you think the tier could have started higher I'm not sure but I still do love how this looks I think this is very very flattering this is the kind of dress that you could easily dress up or dress down depending on the occasion you could style it up with chunky sandals and just like a little rucksack if you're looking for something a bit more casual or you could wear it with some really cute like strappy heeled sandals a crossbody bag and do it up with some jewelry and this would look really really cute but i love this pearl detail that it has going on it's such a gorgeous trend that i've noticed loads this spring it's everywhere at the moment and i absolutely love it this is definitely a win like this is definitely going to stay in my wardrobe i love it so so much now, i also picked up a couple of accessories from river island that i wanted to show you and the first one is this bag now now i feel like the tote bag trend is a trend that i have fallen head over heels in love with i'm utterly obsessed with but i want to make sure that it is a trend that works well in my wardrobe and is something that has longevity to it and has the potential to be in my wardrobe for a really really long time you guys know i love cost per wear so whenever i'm thinking about making a more designer luxurious like high-end purchase i usually like to persuade myself to get a high street version first if there is one out there so that i can see how much wear i get out of it and whether i'm happy to just keep the high street version or whether i still do want to make that more high-end purchase so i wanted to pick up this river island bag because this reminds me quite a lot of the ysl bag that i really really like the riv riv gosh i think that's how you pronounce it i never know how to pronounce it but I feel like it's quite similar in style, but like black and white, very monochromatic, very oversized. And I do really, really like this. It does have slightly different handles. So this has got two little top handles and then this like chain detail, which is slightly different, but I feel like it is still quite similar. It's got two pockets as well, which I think is quite useful. I feel like this might be quite a good work bag if you're someone that commutes or, you know, you need to bring your laptop in and stuff back and forth from the office when offices start to open again. But I really, really like the style of this. I feel like this is really gorgeous and could be a really, really classic tote bag to have in your wardrobe. Okay, so I wanted to show the bag with this outfit because I feel like this is such a perfect, like, work look. Obviously, ignore the fact that I'm barefoot. I would put maybe just some little, like, loafer shoes or something, like, court shoes with this would look so, so cute. But how good does the bag look with this dress? It is absolutely gorgeous. What I quite like as well is the fact that you can like put it in the nook of your arm obviously you can carry it just with the top handle or you can wear it over your shoulder which i think just makes it really really wearable as a work bag like you can easily fit a laptop and like you know a bottle of water and everything in this this would be a great daytime bag i love it i love how monochromatic it is because it means it's going to go with so many different things in my wardrobe and this i feel like i am just ready i'm ready to take on the world i'm ready to take on all the board members and yeah <laughs> 
I feel like such a powerful boss woman right now. This, this is what I want to feel like every day of the week. And then the other accessory I picked up, which honestly, when I saw these, I was like, I just need to add them to my wardrobe straight away because Chanel who? Chanel who? Another thing that I do, I think I've spoken about this a little bit. Yeah, I spoke about it in my vlog last week, my save or splurge vlog. And one thing that I often find with deciding whether to spend a lot of money on something or whether to kind of go for a high street alternative is if there's an almost identical alternative on the high street, why not just go for that one? The fact that these look so, so similar to the Chanel ones and are a quarter of the price and to be perfectly honest, are probably similar comfort wise, these are the ones for me. And I had actually been thinking about making a Chanel sandal purchase this year, but now that I've seen these, I'm like, I don't need them. These are just absolutely gorgeous and I won't be as worried about ruining them and I'll be happy to wear them like as much as I want. So very, very happy about these. They were only 42 pounds, which compared to the Chanel ones is so, so inexpensive. Now I decided to pick these up in a three. If you know me, I'm like a three and a half. I usually go for a size four with kind of flat shoes, but just because these are quite oversized, quite chunky, I decided to go for them in a three because also you can obviously adjust the straps and I would rather them be like well fitted than a little bit loose and have to like really tighten the straps. So I'll show you what these look like on because I'm so, so obsessed with them and I'm so, so happy that they are now in my wardrobe. Okay, so this is the dress with the sandals on and I am in love with the sandals. They are so, so cute. So like chunky and oversized. I'm definitely glad that I went for the three because I feel like the four would have been way too big. The three fit actually like perfectly, like they fit really, really nicely. Obviously they're supposed to be quite oversized and chunky, but like they're not too tight at all and they fit really, really nicely. I love the like River Island kind of like buckle here. I think it makes them look so much more expensive and I just love how they look. Like I think they look really cute with this dress. Very like, you know, casual, just really cute. I feel like you can style these up so many different ways and they are just so on trend right now, these big chunky dad sandals. So to be able to get them at such an affordable price is amazing and I have quite a few shoes from River Island and they last really really well so I would definitely recommend picking these up. I am so in love with them. They look so cute. Okay, now moving on to a gorgeous Karen Millen dress. Now this is the only item that I think is left in the Lydia Millen x Karen Millen collection and it is just absolutely gorgeous. It's a stunning like leather kind of like smart could be worn to the office but also could be worn out for drinks kind of dress and i've fallen in love with it it's got this gorgeous like collar detail going down here the fact that it's got pockets is an absolute win but obviously a big concern for me is that it's not petite so i'm very interested to see how this is going to work on my frame Caramel, I feel like, is a brand that's kind of, like, more tailored towards taller, slimmer girls. So it's quite interesting to see how the items look like on a shorter, more curvy body. So hopefully, if you guys have been eyeing this up, this will help you out decide whether it's going to suit you. But I really, really like this. I feel like this is the kind of dress that could be worn so many different ways. It's the kind of dress that you just have in your wardrobe for years and years and years, and you can reach for time and time again, and can style up so, so many different ways. So let's try it on and see what it looks like. Okay, so I'm not gonna lie, this dress I'm not as keen on. I think this is my least favourite from the haul. There's quite a few things that I'm not so keen on this dress. First of all, you can't get it on without someone's help. I've had to wait for half an hour. I had to film all the stuff that's about to come up first and wait for half an hour for Alex to finish a call to be able to do it up for me, which is not ideal. Second of all, length. I mean, it's a little bit too long, I think, for it to be flattering. And third of all... I am so scared of this just gaping open and showing the entirety of my bra. There's no closure here. There's no way to keep this from like gaping. Sorry, the light's gone really funny. So yeah, this one is just not really my vibe. I'm not feeling this one so much, which is a shame because I had high hopes for it, but it's just not me at right. all. So the next item is gonna be an item that is either gonna look absolutely stunning or like I'm a little girl dressing up in her mum's clothes. And it's from Coast, and it's this absolutely gorgeous dress. The print on this is so interesting. I've never seen anything like this. It's like a really interesting kind of, almost like giraffe print, but a bit more abstract. And obviously it's organza, it's like very sheer, it's got the slip dress underneath. There's a lot going on and I feel like this could look absolutely stunning with maybe a little pair of heeled sandals, maybe a little fedora or, you know, just like a little crossbody bag I think would look so, so cute. Now I picked this up in a 10 and it does look quite oversized, but I feel like 
I mean, you can cinch in the waist. It's supposed to be a little bit kind of like poofier. You know, the organza trend, they're like very big oversized trend. So very interested to see what this looks like on because on the hanger, it's stunning. But the fact that it's obviously mid-axi on me could be a bit of a disaster. So let's try it on and see what it looks like. I'm really hoping this is gonna be a win. Okay, this dress is stunning. I am in love with this. I love the little puff sleeve detail we've got going on the sleeves. I love the bow, the pussy bow that you can tie so that you can really cinch in your waist. I love the gold buttons going down. I love the collar with like the slip underneath. The only thing I'm gonna say is I wish the slip skirt was the same length as the dress. If you can see, you can kind of see my legs from like knees down, which I don't find so flattering. Like I think it would look so much better if the slip was exactly the same length as the dress so that it looks more a part of the dress because it does come with the dress. It just makes it look like I've chosen my own slip underneath this. But I think this would make a really gorgeous wedding guest outfit or like a christening outfit or even just like a little garden party I think would be really, really nice. It is absolutely stunning, so, so cute and quite affordable for a dress that I think looks quite fancy and looks a lot more expensive than it actually is. So another coast item that I just fell in love with is this absolutely stunning blazer. Now, if you know, I've had in my wardrobe for quite a little while now, the really, really oversized granddad blazer from ASOS. And as much as I love it, I feel like it's just a bit too much and I wanted something a little bit more subtle and a little bit more wearable on a day-to-day -day basis and also I think I prefer the colour of this one this one's a little bit more kind of like warm neutral a bit more bisky whereas the, the other one was more like cream and I feel like this is going to go with more items in my wardrobe so I got this in a large now looking at it I feel like I could have gone for a medium but I still do want it to be oversized I want it to be something I can just sling on over dresses or jeans or you know any kind of outfit just really really easy chuck it on look a bit oversized a bit undone but still kind of pulled together and I feel like this is going to be that blazer for me so I'm really excited to try this on I love the feel of this it's thick enough to be a nice like jacket but not so thick that you can't wear it when the weather gets a bit warmer so this is a really really great spring jacket to add into your wardrobe I've literally just chucked on the most random outfit to show you this blazer, but I love this. It's very oversized, but I don't know. I think I like it. I think the medium would have just been a bit too kind of like true to size. I do like it really like big. You can just chuck it on over anything and it looks really, really cool. I love the colour of this. The colour is so perfect and it's the softest thing ever. I've just kind of like rolled up the sleeves once. I probably cuffed them maybe one more time just so that they were a bit less kind of like full length and just a bit more you know i've just rolled my sleeves up like very casual very kind of undone but i really like how this looks i think i think this is the new like spring summer blazer for me last clothing item from coast is this absolutely stunning dress i saw this and i was like this just needs to be added to my wardrobe you guys know i love white dresses and i love kind of like embroidered the kind of embroidery anglaise style of course it's in the skater style which is just so so me i fell in love with this online and i've fallen in love with it on the hanger it's absolutely gorgeous the perfect spring summer dress this can be worn so many different ways with boots and a fedora and like a jacket thrown over the top or with sandals and you know big sunglasses and a big tote bag i feel like there's so many different ways you can style up a white summer dress and i just love this one now obviously this isn't petite so it's getting gonna be interesting to see where it comes lengthwise but because it does have the ruched waist you can pull it up a bit and make it a little bit shorter i believe i picked this up in a 10 i did pick this up in a 10 so yeah size wise it looks absolutely great let's just try it on and show you what it looks like okay this dress oh i love it so so much now this is actually the longest dress in the haul but i don't hate it like i think it looks quite sweet i think it kind of works with the dress because it's quite like prairie vibes quite you know just like summer casual. So I think the length actually kind of works on this. I love the sleeves and the little details that we've got going on here. I think it's so, so cute. I really, really love the like embroidery, bro embroidery on glaze. Is that, yeah, I think that's how we call it. I love that. I think it's so, so cute. And I love the like skater style. I think that's so flattering on me. It really cinches in the waist. And actually, I kind of think the skirt makes me look a bit taller. I don't know. Maybe that's just me. But I really like this. This is so, so cute. And it just makes me so, so excited for spring. 
And then the last thing to show you in this little springtime haul is a new pair of tights. Now this is from a brand called Better. And they actually got in contact and asked if I would be willing to try some. And I fell in love with them. I saw so many, sorry, it's gonna be really annoying. Let me just get them on. <laughs> I've seen so many people online talking about getting like sheer tights and using them to keep yourself warm while still looking like you're wearing bare legs. Cause I love bare legs. I love how it looks, but sometimes it is just like still a little bit too chilly for that. So I wanted to see how these fared in terms of like still looking like your skin whilst keeping you nice and warm. So this is the 50 denier. I believe they do 50 and 30 denier. I went for the thicker one because I wanted to see how they would fare, like how it would work next to my skin tone and how they would look under dresses and skirts and things. So yeah, really excited to give these a try. I'm also interested to see how they're going to be in terms of like being on a petite frame. I often get questions from you guys about tight recommendations and like where I would go for tights and I get loads of questions about like the Gucci tights and stuff and how they fare on shorter bodies. So if these work, they do do lots of different colours. They do black and they do like a full rainbow spectrum of colours. So hopefully these will be my next, my next tight brand that I stick to because they look nice, they look quite thick, and they're really, really soft. So yeah, let's try them on and I'll show you what I think of them. Okay, so I've just put the tights on with the last dress that I had on, and I want to know your guys' opinions. Now, comfort-wise, they're really, really nice, like really comfy, really soft. They fit nicely, like they don't feel like they're gonna fall down. They're quite, um, what's the word? Like shaping, you know, the kind of shapewear tights. They're quite similar to that without being too tight. So in that sense, I love them. My only concern is, I don't think they look like skin. I don't know, maybe it would work better if I had like a long sleeve top on so you can't really see the color on my arms. But I think if I was just to be like this, that like you could definitely tell that's not my skin tone. I'm not sure. Let me know what your guys' thoughts are. But in terms of like the comfort of the tights, oh, let's get in focus. In terms of the comfort of the tights, I do really, really like them. I love how soft they are. And I think they are quite nice. Maybe I would have been better going off with the 30 denier. I'm not sure. Let me know your guys' thoughts though. I feel like this needs to be a drinking game of how many times can I say the word spring because I feel like I've literally said it about 10,000 times in this little haul, but I'm excited for spring, can you tell? <laughs> so it's quite a while later now. <laughs> so after filming the cutaways, I went to go have some lunch. And then after lunch, you know how sometimes you just get bit, like a bit roped in, so I was like doing some emails, I had a couple of calls to make, and I've just come back in and this is the mess that was awaiting me. Honestly, have you seen that meme that's like, my new year's resolution is to, when I take clothes off, like put them back on the hanger. It doesn't sound like much, but it's a big problem for me. That is the story of my life. Like literally, that is something that I really need to work on. I started doing it, if you see. <laughs> like I started with the River Island dresses and they're all nicely back on the hangers. And then from that moment on, it just went, it just went to crap and it's now all on the floor. So <sighs> that's now my afternoon task. But I just wanted to show you something that's very exciting. And that is the fact that it is currently half past three. And look how light it is outside. I mean... Do you remember when it used to be this light at half past three? I feel like it hasn't been this light at half past three in months. And it's making me so excited. It's making me feel like the day is a lot longer as well. I keep looking at the time being like, like I keep getting confused with the time because I think it should be later than it is because it's still light. So I'm like, oh, it must be, no, wait, is that right? Basically, it's very exciting that it's light. It means that I can work for longer in the day because we've got light and I don't have to use my softbox as much. So one of these days, in the not so distant future, this softbox is probably gonna go away for good because I'm not gonna need it as much anymore because obviously it's light outside, which is very, very exciting. I honestly feel like, <laughs> this is just so silly, but I really am just in such a good mood today because I'm just feeling all the spring vibes and I'm starting to get so so excited about it and yeah if you are going to do the spring drinking game have another two shots spring spring <laughs> and just like that peace has been restored I'm leaving these bits here just because I'm wanting to shoot them I haven't quite decided what I'm going to be doing with them in terms of especially like how they're going to go on the shelves you guys may have noticed if you've been like following the vlogs recently that the shelves have been changing up quite a bit because i've had like quite a few new in pieces recently 
But one thing that I do find with the shelves is that I... I want to be quite careful not to make them into like a wardrobe in themselves again if you've been following me for a little while back in i think it was january when i did like a bit of a rejuge of this kind of room i kind of realized that one of the reasons why i wasn't spending a lot of time in here is because it just felt too much like a wardrobe um and the fact that i had like pretty much all my shoes and like all my bags on the shelves meant that it was just too much in here so i wanted to kind of like change up and make the shelves a bit more like boutique -y, rather than like a full-on extension of my wardrobe um so what i've recently been doing actually is utilizing this wardrobe a lot more to put in like kind of overflow so like you know extra shoes and bags and things like that and things that i just don't want to have like on the shelves right now that doesn't mean that they'll never go back on the shelves but you know like things i just don't want to keep on the shelves right now um and i've noticed my shelves are getting really full again um so i don't know if i need to do a bit of a rejudge just to make sure that they don't get too wardrobey again and too like you know i want them to be like a nice display and a nice as I said, like a boutique -y kind of version of like what my wardrobe room is. So yeah, need to decide where this stuff is going. But I think I'm going to sign off this vlog here because I feel like I have rabbited on about my excitement for spring far long enough. And you guys are probably so, so bored of hearing how excited I am. But if you're excited too, then let me know because I feel like a lot of us have been anticipating the warmer weather for a little while now. I feel like it really is this year such a welcome, welcome thing. Um, so let me know if you're excited as well. And if you are, make sure you're subscribed because there is a very exciting video coming on Thursday. So if you're not already subscribed, make sure to hit the subscribe button and also hit the notification bell so you know when my videos go live. If you don't already know my upload schedule, it's Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Sundays, three times a week, all at 5 p.m., which is when my vlogs go live. But sometimes it's just useful to have the notification bell on just to give you a little reminder that the vlog has gone up. But please also be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, or alternatively, if you are drunk because of the amount of times that I have said spring in this haul. But I'm gonna go now for a rabbit on anymore. I hope you guys have a lovely day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.